Weebly How to Add Pages Weebly provides different types of pages you can create. Select the type of page you want to create, a blog page, for example, and give it a name. As you do this, Weebly automatically loads the page for you, with pre-filled images and content for you to make your own. Remember to click Done to save your new page's settings. Once you've done this, return to the Build menu tab to edit the page just like you would normally. Changing the color scheme You can change the color theme of your page by heading to the Theme section of your dashboard. For some themes you simply have the options of light or dark, while others give you actual colors to switch between. This is fairly basic and you won't see massive changes to your theme, but you can add a custom color to the range of choices if you want to. How to use Weebly Change Color Scheme It's super easy to change your color scheme, although it's not a very advanced feature. Adding New Layouts To really personalize your website, you'll want to add new sections to the pages you're editing. Apart from adding new elements, there's also the option to add new sections. This element sits at the top of the left-hand sidebar above all the other elements dash simply drag it to where you want it on the page and let go. How to use Weebly New Section Layout The section's element sits above all the others in the left-hand sidebar. It'll give you a list of options, gallery, contact, menu, featured, and team. Select the one you want to add. How to use Weebly Choose New Layout you can choose the type of section you want to add to your page. Weebly then gives you a list of different layouts to choose from, so you can pick the one you like the best. Click on the layout you want, and it'll appear on your page. Click Save in the pop-up box, and get editing. How to use Weebly Choose Section Layout You can choose the layout of the section you want to add. Deleting Sections We all make mistakes. We all change our minds, and we all learn differently, we're only human after all. That's why it's important to know how to delete elements on your site, as well as adding them. You might want to try out a gallery on your homepage, but then decide it doesn't work. You're not stuck with it forever, simply click on the element, and look for the small blue cross that appears in the top right corner of the editing box. Click on that cross, the box will turn red, and you'll have the option to delete that element. Weebly How to Delete Element Deleting elements is easy, simply click the cross. This is how to delete small elements such as galleries, text boxes, images, buttons, and more. If you want to delete a larger section such as a background, simply click on the area you want to remove. You'll see a few options appear, Edit, Move, and Delete. Click the delete button and you'll see a pop-up asking you if you're sure you want to delete. At this point you can either cancel or confirm, if you click delete then that section and everything inside it will be deleted. Weebly How to Delete Section You can delete whole sections of your page if you want to, just click delete and then confirm your decision. This are you sure? Method means you won't scrap any bits of your website by accident, which is a relief. Before you move on, make sure you have Edited text boxes Edited the background Added new elements Added new pages Experimented with your color scheme Added new layouts Check you can delete unwanted elements Customize your Weebly site Weebly underscore logo Are you excited to get going? Explore Weebly and get inspired to design your very own website. What will you create? Go to the top. 5. Add apps. Go to the top. Also in the navigation bar is apps. You guessed it, this takes you to the Weebly App Center. Whatever your website, Weebly has an application to help boost your performance. We recommend adding some popular apps like Site Booster and Content Color Box. Not only does it categorize apps for sales, traffic, social and Weebly specific, but it even recommends apps just for your website. It's like having your own personal shopper, the American dream, right? 
Weebly App Center Weebly has over 300 apps to boost your website's performance and appearance. Weebly has an impressive amount of apps, over 300 apps, to be, sort of, precise. More than 50 are free, and there are always new apps being added, so you won't struggle for choice. Don't feel overwhelmed, you can sort by popular, highest rated, new, and free. Or just search for whichever type you want, whether it's an FAQ section, countdown timer, or social feed. You can even categorize them on the left-hand side. Weebly Apps Search Bar You can search for specific apps to make things even easier. Also, before making any purchases, you can check the user ratings on each thumbnail. Can't find one you like? Scroll to the very bottom and you can submit a new app idea or even develop your own, if you can code. To install apps, click on the one you want and then find the add button. A pop-up box will appear, you need to click connect to install the app and agree to any terms. How to use Weebly install apps Anyone can install apps on Weebly, simply click connect and Weebly does the rest. Once the app has installed, you'll be taken back to your website. The app will automatically appear at the bottom of the left-hand sidebar, under the Installed Apps section. Weebly Installed Apps This is where your apps will appear once you've installed them. Once your app is installed, drag it onto your page as you would any other element. Before you move on, make sure you have Explore the App Center Installed some apps Added apps to your website Weebly underscore ecom underscore logo Want to explore Weebly's App Center? You'll find plenty of extra functionalities that you can use to spice up your website Go to the top 6. Add a store Go to the top Back at step 1, you have the choice of setting up an online store if you chose not to and changed your mind, no worries, you can easily set one up. Close your editor for now and go to your account dashboard. Open up the menu in the top left corner and click store. This takes you to the clear and simple setup page. Weebly dashboard how to add store. This is your dashboard and the page where you can start adding a store to your site. Another way of adding a store is by staying in the editor and selecting the products element. If you don't have a store already, then Weebly will direct you to the store setup page. Don't want a store? You can skip this step. Weebly online store setup page. Setting up an online store is explained clearly, with simple action buttons. From here, you can see all the steps you need to create an online store, including everything from adding products to setting up taxes. You can then integrate each feature with just a few clicks. Just use the action buttons on the right hand side. The options follow a natural order for setting up an online store. So, starting from the top, setting up a Weebly online store looks like this. Add store information. Add a product. Start accepting payments. Set up shipping. Set up taxes. Publish and start accepting orders. However, you'll need to upgrade to the professional plan to access premium tools like a shipping calculator, or the performance plan to send abandoned cart emails and access advanced analytics. Check out the table below to see what sales features you get with each weekly plan. Remember that the professional plan also removes adverts, and unlocks a free domain, unlimited storage and password protected pages. As you can see, the performance plan is the most robust plan for selling online. Worried about picking the wrong plan? Well, fear not, you can change plans throughout by clicking the strategically placed yellow upgrade prompts. See below, you can't miss them. Weebly upgrade action buttons. Changing your weekly price plan is easy with the upgrade prompts. Before you move on, make sure you have Added a store to your site Follow weekly steps to set up your store Added products Upgraded your plan if necessary 
Weebly underscore logo. Got something to sell? Take a look at Weebly's sales features to see if it's the perfect builder for your business. Further information. Find out more about selling with Weebly in our Weebly e-commerce review. Go to the top. 7. Choose a price plan. Go to the top. Up until now we've assumed you're happily building on the free plan. However, as we've seen there are cases where you might want to upgrade, for example, to unlock advanced features or start selling online. Let's take a quick look at Weebly's prices and how you can upgrade if you want to. Weebly Pricing Click to see Weebly's pricing plans in detail. You already know about Weebly's free plan. There's no time limit on it, and you can actually publish your site without paying a dime. However, it has its drawbacks, no custom domain, limited features, and Weebly adverts displayed on your site. The free plan is perfect for cost-conscious website creators, but luckily its paid plans are pretty budget-friendly too. There are three price plans to choose from. Personal, $6 per month, billed annually. Professional plan, $12 per month, billed annually. Performance, $26 per month, billed annually. Here's who we re each plan for. Personal, best for hobby sites and personal blogs or portfolios, the personal plan is for having fun on. The only difference between this and the free plan is that you can connect a custom domain, it won't remove the adverts from your site, so we don't recommend it for professional websites. Professional, best for business sites, professional portfolios, or any website you want taken seriously online. This is the cheapest plan to remove adverts, you also get a free domain, unlimited storage, password protection, and a shipping calculator. This is the plan we recommend to most Weebly users. Performance, best for online stores and large businesses, especially if you're aiming for growth. You unlock premium selling features such as abandoned cart emails and shipping discounts, as well as advanced e-commerce analytics. We recommend upgrading to the $12 per month professional plan, as it offers much better value for money than the personal plan. Considering how many more features you get compared to the personal plan, paying $12 per month for the professional plan seems like a total steal. It's the cheapest plan for creating a truly professional website. Before you move on, make sure you have explored and compared Weebly's prices. Decided if you want to upgrade. Chosen a price plan. Signed up. Weebly underscore logo. Did you spot your perfect plan? You can stay on the free plan as long as you like, but if you want to explore Weebly's plans its pricing page has more details. Further information. Read more about Weebly's prices and value for money in our Weebly pricing review. Why do we recommend the pro plan? Is it worth it? Find out in our Weebly pro plan features review. Go to the top. 8. Publish your Weebly website. Go to the top. If you're happy with what you've created, you can now publish. Great. If you're not completely happy, don't worry, you can revisit the Weebly website editor to make some changes after you publish. To publish your site, hit the blue publish button in the top right corner. You will then receive a pop-up telling you it's published, and how to integrate a pro tip. Weebly really wants your site to succeed. Weebly Publishing Pop-Up After publishing, Weebly provides a helpful pro tip. You've now published your Weebly website. Like we said, it's easy to update and edit at any time. You can also upgrade your plan if you want to. Just head back to step 1 to view the plans and their benefits. If you publish your site, but then change your mind, you can head to your settings and scroll down to the very bottom. There, you'll find an option to unpublish your site with a single click. Easy. Before you move on, make sure you have published your site. Go to the top. 9. Improve and grow your website. 
go to the top. Once your site is live, there are a few things you can do to encourage its growth and success. Don't just leave it to languish all alone, instead, make regular tweaks, edits, and changes to keep your site fresh and relevant. Edit content. Go back and edit content, update old information, write new articles, and add extra sections to old pages. Fresh content will not only keep your visitors happy, it'll show Google that your site is relevant and active. Optimize for Google. You want your site to rank in Google's search results, right? Right. It's the best way of getting more traffic and boosting your online presence. The way to climb up through the ranks is by mastering SEO, search engine optimization. SEO is the process of boosting your site's chances of ranking highly in the search results, and involves lots of factors. Some are super simple, like using headings to structure your content, while others are a little more advanced. Weebly has a great range of SEO tools to help your site rank, as well as beginner-friendly guides to walk you through each step. Start off with its ultimate SEO guide and you'll be a pro in no time. Promote via social media. Everyone is on social media these days, and you want everyone to see your site. Pick a couple of social channels that suit your site, for example, Instagram is perfect for photographers, and Pinterest is ideal for selling handmade items. Then start sharing snippets of content, blog posts, images, and more to engage your visitors and gain followers. Get marketing. Email marketing can be your best friend. It's a great way of releasing new product information, letting your visitors know about news and events, or enticing them back with sales and discounts. Weebly has its own email marketing system called Weebly Promote, which helps you build your mailing list, easily create customized emails, and track your email's performance. This is free to use for your first two campaigns, after that it costs $8 per month. Weebly also has fantastic blogging tools, so you can combine blog posts with email campaigns and newsletters to keep your visitors informed and engaged.